Alright guys, give you a look here at, these are some of these Valentine's Day gift bags. That's so bright there. These ones over here are super cute. Look at these. Little panda bear. Very sweet. A little fox. These are so cute. Look at this pug. I'm going to have to get one of these bags here and put my son's Valentine's Day stuff in it because he is obsessed with pugs right now because Dan TDM has a pug or I don't know, two or three or four. These are so cute though. I love them. These are adorable. I have these little monkeys here that you can put in the bags. Um, keeping with the Valentine's Day stuff. Here's some stuff to make different crafts. I can tell you I have tried these um, these rose petal soaps and they don't dissolve very well um, when you actually try to use a rose petal and wash your hands with it. You know, it's just soap shaped like a rose petal. They don't dissolve very well though. I didn't have good luck with those. But I did have good luck with um, these candles that kind of look like they're made out of wax. Um, I have these in off-white in my home. And then lots of craft stuff here. You could put these in your kids' treat bags maybe even for school parties and then they have these treat bags that actually have like a ziploc closure and then they have some treat bags over towards the front oh these towels i need these in my in my kitchen i'm gonna come back and get some of these i'm trying not to do a haul or anything today but these ones i like these these are cute just kitchen towels we could put these in the bathroom too in my um, hall bathroom i try to decorate seasonally in there for my son and um, I want to show you guys, also they had all these different perfumes here that's kind of like, um, you know, the designer inspired fragrances. Lots of those. They have these glass roses. These are really cute. They're like maybe four or five inches tall. And I want to show you, because I've seen a lot of different halls that have some of the Valentine's Day signs, but this Dollar Tree had more of the signs than I have seen. Um, this one is actually like a little chalkboard. You couldn't write on there with real chalk, but you could write on there with like the chalk pens, and I think you could get by with that. And this one's held together with, um, with like a ribbon. That's really pretty. And then this one kind of looks like it's written on with chalkboard or craft paint or something. And then this one, this is so pretty. This is a really big sign too. It says love. Let me get it out of the light where you can actually see it. That's cute. I like that. And then there's a ton of stuff here for your kids' Valentine's Day party bags. Like um, some little novelty fun sunglasses. And these glasses are four in a pack. And tablecloths and um, foam shapes. All kinds of toys and stuff. That's pretty good. You can really get a lot of different Valentine's Day stuff there. Let's check out the silk flowers. Okay, they have a pretty good selection of silk flowers here. I'm going to show you some of my favorite ones would be like these because they're really thick in a bunch. Even whenever you just pull one of them out, some of the, the flowers you pull one out and there's not really that much, but there's a ton of flowers just on this one pick for a dollar and they have them in lots of different colors these ones the blue ones remind me of a bush my grandma had um i guess these are hydrangeas a hydrangea bush she had in our backyard whenever i was a kid and then they do have some greenery like some ornamental grasses that have these butterflies already on them those are pretty cute and colorful cattails for spring and um there were some colorful little daisy things up here also there's all kinds of flowers in this dollar tree and I think this potting soil down there, it is potting soil if you want to have some real flowers. These are pretty too. I like these. Those would be nice for spring. And there's even some ferns. Those are pretty. They have a lot of different pots here. Some of the bigger ones, like this is a good deal for this price. I mean, that would look like stone if you didn't tell someone that that wasn't stone. Let me show you this black one. That's a good size. And you could even stack these on top of each other, like one on top of the other, and make kind of an arrangement. Those are nice. And they got these hanging baskets. This one looks like it's woven. Oh, that's pretty. I see why there's only one of those left. Somebody snatched all those up. That's really pretty. I need to come back and get some of those. And then some more outdoor stuff. They got hummingbird feeders and lots of garden tools. These a really good sized thermometer for outside too. I hadn't seen that before. 
you know, they've got the solar lights, just like every Dollar Tree has these solar lights. This next aisle is just Valentine's Day candy, and there's some Easter candy in there too, so I'm just going to give you a view of how much candy that there is. There's a bunch. Now, they started doing a different size with these baskets here. These would be good for teachers if you have like homework in and homework out or anything like that. And then I saw these, these are new. These are so cool. They're like, you put your, your fruits or your vegetables in there, okay? And then you close up this little deal. And the reason why it's slotted is you can take it right out and you can rinse it and then just have all your, your veggies right there. Or if you just rinsed them and you put it in there, it's gonna keep it separate from the water when it drains off of it. These are so neat. I love these. If you um, prep your fruits and vegetables after you buy them, <coughs> excuse me, they have red and they have this color, I think would match in almost every kitchen. These are beautiful. I like those and then they have a bright green too. My husband's over there playing with those. These are good for on your desk, paper clips and things like that. They even have little dust pans that match this whole set. <coughs> yeah, these are really cute. In a home office, something mainly white. I like these a lot. There's a whole product line of those. Here's some, uh, you know, they always have quite a few um, wine glasses. And look, this is so cute. The pageant queen in me wants this. This is Queen Bee. Oh, that's adorable. That would be cute. Like, even for a ladies' night out or something to just get. Look, this one says girls' nights. You can have your girls over. Now, look, this is something new. I hadn't seen these before. Food is good. Wine is better. And these are stemless wine glasses. I hadn't seen the stemless ones here before. Now, this is happy birthday. Celebrate. And truly dazzling. These are pretty. I like those colors. That's like uh, Alabama colors, isn't it? Is that Alabama colors? Florida State. Florida State colors. How about that? I'm all kinds of wrong. Look at all this crepe paper. They have like every color and you get two of them in a pack for one dollar. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Lots of soaps and stuff. A ton of bags. They always have the best gift bag. There are some new stickers I hadn't seen. These cute little Hello Kitty stickers. And these ones are like 3D little beads that you put on there. Isn't that cute? Look at this. You get 68 of these mermaid ones. Oh man, I need these mermaid stickers in my life. It's a shame they're not all mermaids. Those are adorable. Very cute. Oops. And look at these Disney princess ones. Those are so cute. I saw these yesterday. They're it says self-adhesive stencils. So I guess you put them on there as a stencil and then you can paint or use the marker or whatever around it. I don't know. I mean, you could just spell out a word with the stickers themselves. Those are pretty neat. I like those. And then look at this. These are fuzzy. You can put it right on your notebook like what she's got hers or they wrapped it around a picture frame. It's just... I don't know. It's just like a, a layer of faux fur that you apply on there. I like those. Here's a new line of kids storybooks that I hadn't seen before. This one's a silly monster and he's fuzzy. And I want to show you the one that my son really liked when I was showing him these. I hear it. It's in here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, here it is. Look, he's got wiggledy eyes. Now, I had one like this for my older son. I got it at a different store for like $8 or something. And so for only a dollar, you know, every time you turn the page, his little eyes are in there kind of wiggling. That's so cute. Here's a teacher's, it says the teacher's corner. And it's all kinds of stuff, you know, for teaching your students. Now, I thought these here, you could even put a magnet on the back of these and put spices in them and put them on your refrigerator with the different type spices. Um, I don't know how many ounces it would hold and I don't really know if it's if it's food safe or not comment below if you've done anything like that but um i get spices in bulk from a place here in town that put them in a container practically just like this but these are kind of big i wish they were a little bit smaller if you're going to do spices there are a lot of different books here a lot they have a good book selection i don't know if that's 
if that's because they just opened or what, but there are a lot and a lot of coloring books too. And then my husband just found something interesting over here. Look at this. Scientific calculator for a dollar. A dollar. That's a good price. Look at this jumbo calculator. For a dollar. My son's even getting excited about that one. Look at all this desk supplies. These I thought these were cute. It's a clipboard and then it's also a folder so you can keep your stuff, you know, concealed. They have all kinds of colors, black and red and blue and green, paper clips, got your rubber bands, staplers, tape, six rolls of tape. I don't know if it's any good for a dollar. Push pins. You say we need those? Yeah, I said these little crappy ones right here. Oh, these ones here. <laughs> We're not such a fan of these. These things, if you push too hard, they come right through. Um, you can almost see them coming through already. Yeah, and it, we've had those go through our thumbs a few times, haven't we, Drew? That's no good, that's no good. That doesn't make anyone happy. Look at these kids' scissors for a dollar. That's a good price. And big adult scissors too. They got uh, Mod Podge and they got Tacky Glue here. Two things of glue for a dollar, that's a good price. And look, actual Play-Doh. You can get all kinds of name brands at the Dollar Tree. People think you don't get name brands here. <laughs> here's a big selection of puzzles. I'm just gonna go through and show you guys some of the, here's a dancing man, he's got a baby. That's my husband. Envelopes. I'm just gonna go through now and show you guys some of the new things that I've seen here that maybe I hadn't seen before. Look at these little puzzles. These are so cute. These remind me very Melissa and Doug-like because they're wooden little puzzles. Um, yeah, these are adorable. Now, I, I am kind of always concerned. It says it's imported. I am a, always a little bit concerned if the kids' toys, you know, not made in America and have paint on them. And these do. They look adorable, though. There's a little ambulance, a train, a house. Oh, these are so cute. Let me know if you got those, if you have any kind of review on those. You know, I couldn't walk by this mermaid and not show you guys this mermaid. She's got a plastic tail. These would be good for summer, playing outside. If your kid left it outside, you wouldn't be out too much then. They're so pretty. Those are like really good quality. And they just got little plastic tails. I think maybe you can even take the skirt off. I don't know. That's cute. These dolls are cute too. Got several different scents of these. The Woodcraft candles. These uh, vanilla sugar. Huh, that was a good pick. I have used these and I love these. This one smelled up our whole house. The crackling fire. They have the wood wick to them, so they crackle when they burn. I like those. And they got a looks like maybe a lavender type one. Oh, it says garden violets. What's the fragrance? It's this one. Apple chai. And then this one, I had this one in my house too, but we haven't burned it yet. Paradise Spa. Look at all these ribbons. These are pretty. Lots of different colors here. Depending on what you did, if it was at a great enough distance and you couldn't really tell, I think you could get by with that. Maybe people thinking that that was rhinestone. They're gold too. And then the thinner ones. Some sequin ribbon. That's pretty. That's a good price for a dollar. Um, different color jute cords. Ribbon, satin ribbon, and raffia. <laughs> Lots of different size vases. Those ones are just the cylinders, and then they go up to like these. You could do an apothecary jar. If you glued these on top of like a taper candle holder, you could do an apothecary jar like that. And then they have the whole thing of the floral gel beads. And then look at all these rocks. You can get the river rocks down here. I just need to use these in our bathroom in some way. Aren't they so pretty? They have the jumbo little glass beads. And then they've got sands and seashells. These seashells, if you buy them at like a tourist place or something, like $10 or more. Black sand, white sand, all kinds of colored sand here. You could do sand art with your kids if you wanted to. You know, buy, come buy, I don't know, a couple dollars worth of sand and some of the different glasses or something and do that with your kids for a rainy day activity that'd be nice these ones are kind of new i hadn't seen them anyway football um soap dish soap pump and the toothbrush um, holder 
and it's got a spot for the toothpaste too. They have basketball. They have baseball, but apparently that's super popular around here. These are adorable. That's so cute. And then they have soccer too. My son would love those, but his bathroom's a hall bathroom, and I'm not doing a sports theme in there. You can get your body poops in here, and body poops for the little ones. The baby probably like that. Good, sweet little puppy. They've got some good um, name brand Barbie, Cotton Candy Detangler, Disney Frozen on Shampoo, Ninja Turtles, Paw Patrol. It's a pretty good name brands that your kids would recognize and would like. I did want to show you guys. I don't know if there's always been here or not. I don't use this, but I know a lot of people do. And you can get the VO5 here. And you can usually get coupons on coupons.com for um, VO5 too. So you could get it for less than a dollar show y'all the baby section real quick these are cute these are good little rattles look at this drew water filled teether rattles so it's got a teether on one end it's got a ring and it's got the little thing isn't that cute and sesame street that's adorable i like that and then they got these little teethers water filled teether there's another teething rattle and they have them in the colors for the little girls too I like these. I bought these at first. I was never using them. Um, mine aren't fragrance though. And now I keep some in my bag for um, dirty diapers. Look at these cute little baby booties for a little girl, a newborn girl. They even have a little scallop design around them. Those are cute. They have this color too with a little scallop. I just love these hot pink, black and white. And then these, my baby's feet aren't gonna fit in these. These probably aren't gonna fit anyone other than a newborn baby, especially booties the first time you wash them. If you dry them, they just shrivel up. But um, they would work pretty well for like a newborn baby. They have lots of different colors for boys and girls. Look at these adorable socks. These are so cute. They're hot pink and they got bicycles on them. These would be cute for like the office. There's some with cupcakes. And there's like a cheetah print and some hearts. Those are cute. Rainbows. Those are adorable. I'm looking at their makeup and I'm not really sure exactly what this is. This is rainbow lip gloss. Squeeze tube and smooth on lips to contour your lips. Removes easily. I'm not sure why it says rainbow. I thought maybe it was different colors or something. I guess it's just regular lip gloss. It's just a rainbow on the outside. The best really brand that I'm seeing, I'm not seeing any Milani or anything like that. I see Wet n Wild. I do have the Wet n Wild, very black mascara. That looks like maybe something to try. And lots of LA colors, you know, for the usual, lots of LA colors. But some Wet n Wild, and they have the Wet n Wild brushes too. I thought about maybe getting this angled brush. This is new. It's new um, in our area anyway. It's a pumice stone um, that you can grip too. They have different colors of these. These would be nice in a little gift basket for somebody. I like that it's rubber around there. Give you something to grip. But I guess once you used it down so far, you could only use it so far. But I like those. Those are cute. I like this color. That reminds me of like Barbie couple of the different medicines that they have. I'm not really seeing anything Sorry. that's new. I did get some of this the other day. And this stuff works good. This worked pretty well. I saw, uh, I had a nasal spray from here, but I'm not really seeing the one that I picked up. But you can also get some Aleve and Excedrin and Zantac, Advil, Tylenol. It's just smaller quantities of it. If you need something like that, it's a good place to step in and get it for a dollar. Because at the um, convenience store, you probably pay like six dollars or something for it. There's some different, um, some Count Chocula down here. That's actually a pretty good sized box. There's 11 servings of Count Chocula in there. There's some Frankenberry too. These little cutting boards are so cute. Look at this cutting board. This is begging to be some kind of a DIY. I'm not sure what. It says it's seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters, like a tempered glass, and it's got these little feet on it. Somebody do a DIY with this and tag me in it. I did think that these were really cute the other day. A little daisy growing kit and comb flowers. Um, you could grow a sunflower, and then um, there was a tomato basil and strawberries i thought these were so cute i like these a lot and then there's all kinds of wildflowers impatience and um all kinds of different wildflowers 
that you can get. And there's uh, potty mix down there. There's these little greenhouse starters too. This would be a good project for your kids or if you homeschool to a um, little science project. There's a lot of different um, seeds over here. Four packs per dollar for vegetables. You can do green beans. Yeah, there's lots of flowers too.